Israel war is getting worse day by day. The war theater has expanded from America to China in the fourth week of war. Every country of the world has involved in this war by some means. Russia and China has also started to deploy their military arsenals near the battlefield. Because no superpower wants to see the game in the hands of single player means America if the situation of war gets terrible. China, whose military exercises were going on with the military of Oman, has not removed his warships even after the end of exercises. According to South China Morning Post, these six warships of China will remain stationed in the Middle East. According to newspaper, the presence of these warships in the Middle East will raise tensions because by anyways, it is much related to the war situation. But Chinese ambassador in America has rejected this impression and said we do not have any war intentions. These ships are just to evacuate people and to friendly visit the concerned countries. But till to date, China has not started any evacuation mission. So we can say that China has decided to station these warships aiming any situation of emergency. You should keep in mind guys, China and Russia are among those countries who didn't condemn 7th October attack of Hamas. But they are continuously pushing Israel to stop airstrikes and do ceasefire. It means that they are standing against allied powers, America, Israel and European NATO. This was the position of China. And the second position is of Russia. Russia is already present at some distance from Israel on a permanent base in Syria. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad did an unlimited free agreement in 2016, in which he gave a military base Hamim to Russia. This military base is just 2.5 kilometers away from the coast of Mediterranean Sea. This base is under Russia from seven years. President Putin has visited this base several times. He visited in 2017, 2019, and he visited again when the expansion work of this base was started. From here, you can guess the importance of this base for Russia. This base has air-conditioned facility to host 1,000 soldiers permanently. It also has military jet hangars and Russia has parked Sukhoi Su-35 fourth generation fighter jets here. This base has anti-aircraft missile system installed on it. It has also a security system to protect it from drones. And Russia has also installed its most modern air defense system S-300 and S-400 on this base. Hamim base is having military tanks and gunship helicopters too. All in all, it can easily meet the needs of an army. And most important, it is just 265 kilometers away from Israel. And the missiles that are fitted in Russian jets can accurately hit a target from minimum 1000 km. Now you know what it means. Besides that, Russian base is also present in Tartus. Syrian government also give this base to Russia. But it not ends here. In this year, in March, April, Syrian president met Putin in Russia and proposed him new military bases in Syria. It means that Putin can make new military bases in Syria anytime, at any place in Syria, whenever and wherever he wants to. Actually, the purpose of these bases in Syria is to counter America. America created a free Syrian army to help Syrians fighting against ISIS, and one of its objectives was to overthrow the Bashar al-Assad government. This American military base is located in Altanov, South Syria. Even after the defeat of both ISIS and Free Syrian Army, America did not leave this base. Syrian government has demanded America several times to leave this base and their country. But America is keeping his presence with few hundred soldiers, helipads and air defense system. Although this base is much smaller than the Hamim base of Russia, but still its presence matters. And America doesn't seem to have any intention to leave this base in near future. So well, Russia has these three military installations on the strategic points in Syria that are not far away if Russia need to put himself in the war game anytime. At least these bases are playing their role in balancing the battleground. But it doesn't mean that Russia and China are just going to take down allied powers. Actually, when the big powers get deployed somewhere like that, situation becomes too sensitive. And the party with more stakes at this place wants to end the war earlier. Because in this region, America has high stakes, he will never want to stretch the war too long, especially after the arrival of warships and fighter jets of the superpowers of the world. Besides China and Russia, 200,000 missiles placed in Lebanon are also a big threat and can spark a big war. Israel is threatening through his experts that if Hezbollah starts to fire these missiles, Iron Dome system will fail to stop them and then they will have to use nuclear weapons to counter Hezbollah. But if it happens, the war will spread everywhere. Iran has proxies all over the Middle East, and they will start to attack Americans and NATO bases. So guys, having a look at these scenes, we can say that this war can be transformed into World War III. 
Guys, these are the details up to now that we got from media and different other sources. To see more unbiased and in-depth details, must subscribe our channel to get yourself updated.